Queen Elizabeth II's life was the perfect epitome of what you would expect from someone of her exalted status, and it was laced with curious details that you would never think of a person of royalty. In fact, you would be surprised to hear about things like what her birthplace looks like right now, a nickname that was based on a common vegetable, and a connection to Britain's greatest spy. Welcome back to Facts Fanatics. We are dedicated to bringing you the most interesting real-life incidents that line throughout the pages of history. Today, we are going to discuss 10 of the less known facts about the late Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom. From facts about her upbringing to little-known truths regarding her lengthy reign, let's dive into 10 of the most interesting and little-known facts about the late Queen Elizabeth II. Please like and subscribe so that we can provide you with more interesting content. Number 1. She never attended school Her eminence was extremely well versed in international politics, theology, the history of the constitution, and the law. Nonetheless, she never went to school and did not get a degree from a college or university. The queen, known as Princess Lilibet during her formative years, was homeschooled by Britain's best tutors, never attended a single educational institution. One of these tutors was Henry Martin, who went on to become the provost of Eton College. The Archbishop of Canterbury instructed the future queen to be in matters of faith, and her many governesses were responsible for teaching her the intricacies of the French language, among other things. Number 2. She was born in a townhouse in London. On April 21, 1926, the woman who would one day become Queen Elizabeth II was born. In spite of the fact that she was the oldest granddaughter of King George V and the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York, who would later become King George VI and Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, she was not born in a palace. Instead, she began her life in a quaint townhouse located within the Mayfair neighborhood in London, owned by her maternal grandparents the Earl and Countess of Strathmore of Scotland. This home, located at 17 Bruton Street, was razed to the ground in 1937. There is now a Chinese restaurant, in addition to an office building on the former site. Number 3. She owned over 30 corgis. Some of the Queen's favorite pastimes were spending time in the countryside, engaging in activities such as horseback riding and walking her dogs. However, her ideal pet was a Pembroke Welsh corgi because of its unique appearance. According to the Associated Press, Elizabeth's father brought home the first corgi for the royal household in 1933. On the occasion of her 18th birthday, she was presented with her very own corgi, whom she named Susan. A significant number of her future corgis were direct descendants of Susan. She took Susan with her on her honeymoon in 1947, and friends of her family gave her another corgi puppy as a present in the spring of 2021. The royal corgis have partly shaped the public's perception of the queen. A portrait of Queen Elizabeth II cuddling a corgi appears on a coin issued to mark the golden jubilee of the British monarchy in 2002. On the occasion of her 90th birthday, the cover of Vanity Fair magazine featured a picture of the queen with four of her pets. In a video that was shown before the opening ceremony of the Summer Olympic Games in London in 2012, Queen Elizabeth II and her corgis made an appearance alongside actor Daniel Craig in his role as James Bond. Number 4. She didn't have a license or a passport Although the royal chauffeur was always at her service, the queen occasionally fantasized about slipping on a pair of stylish sunglasses and a silk Hermes headscarf and taking a spin in her favorite Jaguar or Range Rover. Yet she was never a licensed driver. Though she was not required to have a valid driving license, license plates on her cars, or a passport for international travel because they were issued in her name. The 18-year-old Princess Elizabeth insisted on entering the army and learning how to drive as a mechanic for the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service during World War II. Before her health declined, she was a competent driver and even showed Saudi Arabia's Prince Abdullah around one of the country estates by driving him around in a Land Rover. Number 5. She was the first member of the British royal family to serve in the armed forces on a regular basis. While other princesses, including Princess Patricia of Connaught, had previously held the position of honorary colonel-in-chief of a military regiment, future Queen Elizabeth II took on a more hands-on role in the war effort 
when she was a princess. She became a second subaltern in the Auxiliary Territorial Service in 1945, where she was trained to operate and maintain vehicles. A promotion to junior commander came five months later. On Victory in Europe Day, she celebrated amongst the dense London crowds while remaining unnoticed in her attire. Number 6. She was the sole ruler of swans, whales, and dolphins in her waters. We can already judge from her corgi obsession that the queen had a special place in her heart for animals. As monarch, Queen Elizabeth II possessed and owned every mute swan, whale, and dolphin species in her realm. According to the Reader's Digest, mute swans have been highly esteemed as a delicacy at banquets and feasts since the 12th century, when the crown declared ownerships of all swans in the nation. Furthermore, the current legal regulation dates back to 1324 and states that the King of England shall have whales and sturgeons obtained in the sea or anywhere inside the realm. This law recognizes whales and dolphins as fishes royal. Number 7. She became the first monarch to inaugurate Canada's Parliament. Queen Elizabeth II opened the first session of the Canadian Parliament in person on October 14, 1957, making her the first monarch to do so. She took on the role of reading the speech from the throne, normally performed by a representative in Canada, the Governor-General. In her 1957 Christmas message, the Queen said she opened the new Canadian Parliament last October. This was the first time any royal had done so in Ottawa. She also said that the support of her fellow Canadians humbled her. Number 8. She could not be brought to justice or forced to give evidence in court. There must be some advantages to holding the title of queen. Although civil and criminal processes cannot be initiated against the sovereign, the queen is careful to ensure that all her acts in her personal capacity are carried out strictly within the bounds of the law as stated on the royal family website. Interestingly, her husband, Prince Philip, had some legal issues related to his driving, which resulted in him giving up his license to drive. Number 9. She has traveled more than any other monarch in history. Although her forebears traveled much throughout the British Empire and the Commonwealth, the Queen put all of them to shame. She visited more than 120 nations across six continents, making her the monarch having traveled the most. Between 1951 and 2010, the Queen made 23 official royal trips to Canada. Number 10. Her nickname was Cabbage. It was much more like her pet name. Elizabeth was purposely called Cabbage by Prince Philip during their 74-year marriage. No other person has been given the right or ability to give the monarch a nickname. Robert Lacey, a British historian and consultant on Netflix's The Crown, revealed in 2006 that the prince frequently used the name of the green leafy vegetable to refer to his wife. It is unclear why Prince Philip did this. However, some have speculated that it originated from the French phrase mon petit chou, which loosely translates to my little cabbage or my little sweetie. Now you know a little more about the powerhouse that was Queen Elizabeth II. This is by no means a comprehensive list, and there are a ton of other facts about the late queen. Feel free to do your own research and let us know of any interesting facts about the monarch that you find. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please help us to continue providing similar stories by liking and subscribing to our channel. Until next time.